<laughs> Y'all know what Summer Jam is, right? Mm-hmm. The event that the they event. do in New York with Hot 97. Y'all want to be the next them. contestant on that Summer Jam screen. Um, oh. and You know, they used to be like a big thing, right? Big it show. Was. You was that man if you was rocking that. Well, they done moved it like to where it used to be somewhere that it carried damn near like 100,000 people. And they moved it to somewhere that only carried like 40 or some shit like that. I don't know if I, the numbers are right, I, but, but it's something somewhere that, like that. And, um, you know, they used to have it at Summer Jam where they have the outside performers where it'd be mm. the old school set where, you know what I mean? And there's different shit going on yeah. within the, before within. the main event shit. So they had Met the Man and Red Man performing, uh, at this past Summer Jam. And he didn't really get a good crowd reaction because Summer Jam is really the like the main world. event. The main stage used to be for the young motherfuckers. Uh-huh. You feel me? Mm. And. If there is no more main stage, if it ain't a hundred, if it don't fill a hundred thousand people, it's not all those different type of areas where somebody could go to. You feel me? Right. So he, so everybody pretty much performed on the same stage, and Meta Man didn't get the reception that he was looking for. So uh, he said, "Summer Jam ain't for me," and people thought that he was being like, uh, <coughs> you know, like Saudi about it. Yeah. But he's saying like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm just bringing self awareness, like. I'm too old for this now. Yeah, you know what I'm I mean? not rocking it like I used right. to. So, uh, I don't know. I what? think it was part of the promotion though, because the main, the main person, the main headliner that day was Sexy Red. Come on now. Right. Yeah, you got to know your crowd. You can't crowd. I just met the man on the same you can't card pair as Sexy oral Red. With yeah, yeah. Sexy Red. Yeah. Why is that the same <coughs> card? At Paul all. Rosenberg and all them Ebro and them funk Ebro Bible. fucked that yeah. all up Like bro You supposed to be yeah. Some type of DJ You should have known This lineup was whack yeah. Ebro mm. and Charlemagne Need to hang it up Damn. Agreed hmm. Because listen And this and trust, uh, Man Ebro, rap with Paul yeah, yeah, To Charlemagne really Because this. he the king Of mental health That's what he Pretty much done Based his career off of At this point But they just ain't In touch with What's going on now? Yeah, they they're not. DJ up. Envy need to get the fuck on too. To be completely honest, I was watching the Breakfast Club under the, the, uh, the other the ah. other day, <laughs> and I can't remember who they was interviewing, bro. But I'm sitting there like, what are you doing? Like I'm sitting here critiquing DJ Envy. Like this is horrible. So yeah, they need to hang it up. I don't know. Uh, Ebro was dead ass wrong for it. this. Damn man, <laughs> like Ebro was Saudi at Method Man, like. Set him up. Yeah. So like ain't no structure to it no more or something. So he just picked names out of hat. Yeah, that's crazy. My they just man. not really in tune with what's going on. <laughs> if you make the radio, <coughs> then it's a conversation to be had. But just think about how many people that we love that don't touch the radio. But that's mm-hmm. insane. Yeah, because how many days is Summer Jam? I want to uh, say it's a two, weekend, ain't it? Two or three. Uh-huh. Like Friday to like, Sunday. Just like imagine Friday. Starlito at Summer Jam. He should have had like yeah, old, older. Uh, nigga older don't know. Like, what's a, whatever, nigga you know. don't. Skiller Baby. Was Skiller Baby yeah. there? <laughs> no. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's dope for us. But yeah, you like. Chuck, can you do me a favor? Yeah, can you look up, up look the up Summer Jam lineup, lineup please? <laughs> Summer Jam dying because Rolling Loud. Yeah. Yeah, Rolling Loud, loud took over everything. Let me say, shit. Rolling Loud took over everything. They saying, yeah, uh, what was they saying? They shut down the spring break. <laughs> they shut down the freak deep. Yeah. They the they go, they go. happened already? Yeah. I thought mm-hmm. it was that little thing where everybody I'm goes. Sure. I thought it was Coachella. Like, yeah, that's yeah, where, that's, that's what that's the yeah. thing now. That's what, in the South by Southwest shit. Mm-hmm. Ain't shit. ain't Coachella where Travis Scott got all them people? Uh, no, nah, that was nah, his that concert. was his own mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that was just Travis. Astro World. Yeah, yeah, Travis yeah, Scott, Astro yeah. World. Yeah. That's crazy. People getting that's crazy, bro. Like. People getting trampled over and shit like that. Yeah. Bro. Like, it's can weird. you imagine like, that, bro? What, like, what has come over y'all to where y'all not human no more? Y'all just stepping on human right, beings what? to go see another human being. Like that nigga bleed like we do. Put his pants on one leg at a time. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, the crowd was so. I ain't gonna get into that. Too fucking crazy. I got my own thoughts, but I ain't gonna get <laughs> oh, into that. Fuck around with the it. devil is mind. not welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> did it? Did it pop up, Chuck? Okay, that's all I'm yeah. gonna say. 
I sent you a list hey. if you want to look through it. I don't really know. Rituals be real. Taylor mm-hmm. Swift do them all the time at her shows. Motherfuckers talk about they leave there with amnesia. I'm not trying like, to what? read these names wrong. What you mean you don't remember you went to a show? You well, I got to read names from. wrong all the time. This is the, right here with these people. Yeah. All right, so Becca D. Yeah. I ain't never even seen her before. No. She's a white girl. Um, Makes sense. Beanie Man. Huh? <laughs> Beanie Man. Like Rush Clock. T- yeah. The and one and only. Bounty and Coco. I ain't hit. Burner Boy. Okay. Busy Signal. I ain't hit. Kylie Buds. I heard his name before. I just ain't never hmm. heard his music. <sighs> Kocha Candela. No. no. 90s people. Diani. <laughs> nah. Izzel. Mm. Uh. For Tony. Uh. Green. Who? Not me. J. Bud. Yeah, hey, so at this rate, this sounds like you're reading a fucking I'm local struggling. card. I promise. The only nigga I, I knew know, was Burner Boy. What's that? What's that? What's oh, that yeah, Burner Boy is there. Yeah, this got to be okay. everybody that was there. Okay. Yeah. Like, you know, they, they let some up and coming niggas come too. Where is the main. I smoke too much. Damn. Okay. That so. is facts. <laughs> yeah, all right. Burner Boy, yeah. I ain't even seen none of the main lineup. Have... There's a lot of goddamn people. I would have been lost after that. Yeah. After like Burner Boy. Yeah, after yeah, Burner I'm Boy. Yeah, I'm going home. I don't know it's you. Almost, it's almost like he performing as a no favor. I would have never been there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Same. All right, I show Especially for yeah. like they asked for it. Like, remember, you, remember that one there. time? <laughs> you owe me. I can't mm-hmm. do crowds like that. I ain't that. going to see Burner Boy. <laughs> no. I can't do yeah, crowds I like that. I wouldn't go see you Burner Boy. Especially after, like, Astro World and everything. He said, Matter of fact, wait, y'all. My dad would be like, who the fuck is he? Matter of fact, hell nah. What was that? What's that? Woodstock with the Max? How the fuck did all them people just be packed like that? I cannot do shit like that. So no, I couldn't go to no them type of festivals. That, That's an outside event. That shit I know. Like, I don't know nothing. That's the That's only different. way they can get that shit out. Yeah. That shit's crazy. And that's I just couldn't. too many people. They never expect it to get like that. Mm-mm. I just think it's greed from a uh, promoter perspective. Them festivals mm-hmm. would feel like the biggest bootleg I've ever been to. <laughs> that and I don't do bootlegs. Too many no. people for I've me. I've done it twice. Not the I'll never nah, it I would have to be all the Too way many in the back, for me. like way in the back where I could just leave when like, I want to. He said, We done sold out the yeah. Chinese restaurant. And what the fuck? Where the fuck we at? Type of, uh, <laughs> the type of shows like Astro World and shit. Like, nah, bro, if I'm not in the nosebleeds, I'm not fucking with it, bro. Man, I went to Future and was down there front row, like. Help me. Ty Dolla Sign, my baby mama gave Ty Dolla Sign her phone. Like, that's how <laughs> close we was, nigga. Hey. Like, <laughs> no cap. That that's shit dope. was crazy. It was just like a, we was in a fucking wave pool. Where Best show I went and seen was Lil Wayne. I went and seen him at the Blues House for my yeah. birthday last year. Columbus. That I don't know. It was packed. Between Gucci Mane and Migos, it was probably the best one. Where, where'd I you seen go to the watch them? Uh, I saw Gucci Mane at the Hair Arena. And uh, I saw the Migos at the Red the Barn. Arena. Okay. Over there behind the palms and shit yep, back yep. in the day. Back in the day. This is when they first came out, though. They, they ain't gonna lie, the show was lit, when though. Nah, for sure. And it was remember, local, so you yeah. got a lot of motherfuckers there, too. Yeah. So listen. Mine's was Kevin Gates. Mm-hmm. Where at? Mm-hmm. In Columbus. He was talking about that pressure. Oh, gosh. Calm down. <laughs> okay, Calm so down. check this. <laughs> Calm down. While we on shows in Little Wayne. Yeah. 